6.30 now on your Friday morning. Let's take a live look outside this morning as the snow moves across the area. The inner belt moving slow this morning. Please, when you're on the road, take your time. There's going to be more snow coming in downtown as the morning continues. Hundreds of road crews are out on the road this morning trying to make sure that we are all safe. Yeah, and as you can see, it looks like, especially with that inner belt, we are seeing some pavement, which is great. I mean, that is what we want to see on a snowy morning. But in just minutes, we're going to be checking in with local plow drivers to see what they're seeing out on the roads. All right, Matt, the snow is going to stick around for some time today. Yeah. Time us out throughout the day. Yeah, we've got can. a pretty snowy day. Again, if you're just joining us, this isn't the apocalypse. This isn't the one of the top 10 biggest winter storms that we've had, okay? This is a general snowfall for Northeast Ohio with a couple inches of snow. But the problem is this lake effect portion of it, right? That's what changes this from a general, we can handle kind of snowfall, which most of us are getting right now, to a, okay, things are getting a little messy and we certainly had some messiness out there. So let's dive on in. This is lake effect moisture. So when it's with a system, because we already have snow falling, it's called lake enhanced snow. You've heard that word a lot. So we're gonna call this lake enhanced snow right now. Basically, it's moisture coming off the lake and it's producing heavier snow band, which is now targeting the west side of Cleveland, as we expected it to do. So Bay Village, you're back in the snow again. Real good burst for North Ridgeville along 20 here as you're getting in and out of Elyria. The Turnpike out towards 80, dealing with some snow as well. Here's a live look at Elyria right now and the roads. Yeah, the visibility is not terrible, but it is coming down pretty good there. Avon had a good dose of snow with this as it went through. So you can see we're down to tire tracks versus whole lanes right now. Just a slow go of it as you get out towards the west side right now. That's where the bulk of the snow is. We have no snow falling right now outside of maybe a flurry or two from Parma down towards North Royalton. We've developed a little dry air pocket that was expected as well. Remember yesterday I was saying the models want to bring this solid block of snow. That's not always the case. We tend to get some dry pockets here and there. Snow now heading into areas near Grafton along 57. Brunswick, you've been in and out of it as well, but roads as long as they're treated are doing fine and the reason why temperatures are in the 20s that is good for road salt down towards Akron little heavier bursts here it's picked up a little bit down towards Coventry and Portage Lakes area you see down in Akron right now we've got reduced visibilities but traffic's doing okay down there as well Dover you're fine you had a snowy start this morning around three four o'clock this morning looks like road conditions have improved and then now towards the east side this is where expecting snow a lot of people waking up snow day and you're where's the snow well, it just started a couple hours ago and it is going to move into the east side, but not till later on today when we see that lake effect fan Willow Oak right now reduce visibilities like everyone else. This is the big deal today is where this lake effect fan sets up right now. It's targeting with a northeast wind, the west side of Cleveland, also Erie County. You're starting to pick up some intensity as well as you gather some moisture. This we will follow into Cleveland later on this morning and then it will pivot out towards the east side later today. That's the only big deal with this system. And the rest of us, this is a very manageable snow. And we've still got a few more hours. The general snow goes back towards Indiana. So we've got heavier snow expected north. Lighter snow down to the south. It's just advisory material for you. All that goes through tonight. Your forecast today, the snow continues. It will be a very snowy day. Temperatures right in the mid 20s. That's where we like them for road salt and all that good stuff. So we do have some things on our side. We'll take you through the accumulation that I'm expecting from here on out coming up in the forecast. All right, Matt, thank you. Take a breath. We'll join you here in just a moment. And we have road crews on the road on both the east and west side. Matt was highlighting the west side there, and that's what we're going to start in Westlake. Yeah, that's what we've been watching all morning. And Austin Love has been on the west side taking a look at conditions for us. You are right near Crocker Park, a very busy intersection yeah. with a lot of businesses right around there. A lot of people headed to work. Yeah, it really is a busy area over here. And Dave, you know, I've been in the car, I've been out of the car. You know, Dave, I told you I was going to be out. So here we are enjoying the elements right now. And I'll tell you, it, it just being out here for the past few hours, it hasn't gotten worse. It hasn't gotten better, but it's just been this consistent snowfall of what we've been seeing here, especially uh, on the west side. But it's just been that accumulation. You know, we've been seeing this about two and a half three inches. Yeah, as Matt was saying, this isn't the snowpocalypse, but this is a, is enough to be dangerous. We want to show you the intersection right now here at, at Crocker in Detroit. You can see that plenty of slush, plenty of snow still on the roads. As you're approaching these, make sure that you are going slow, giving yourself plenty of time to be able to make these stops. Of course, as the, the morning goes on, as it gets later into the morning, this is going to become busier. So make sure that you're being vigilant there on the road, thinking of other, other drivers. And uh, speaking of other drivers, we got to think about 
about those snow plows. There's going to be 300 all throughout this area today from ODOT, making sure that you're giving them plenty of room so that they can be able to uh, do their job. But uh, we're going to be back at 655. Keep continuing to uh, make sure that your commute is safe here this morning. But uh, again, give yourself plenty of time this morning, guys. Yeah, Austin, when you take a look at that intersection, I don't know about you, but anybody out there, me, when I hit those brakes, uh, that's when I, you know, you skid a little bit. Yeah. That's when accidents can happen. Yeah. So that was a great live look. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And of course, West Side, as we've been mentioning, is getting hit first. East Side has been a little bit of a different story as we've gone throughout the past couple hours. Yeah, we've seen that visually all mm -hmm. morning long. Carmen Blackwell has been joining us from the East Side, and she does it again from Euclid. A little bit different than what Austin's experiencing. Oh, it's totally different from what Austin is going through. And I thought that I would go ahead and volunteer myself to get out of the car, too, since he keeps talking about it. We know he didn't want to mess up his little hair. Anyways, uh, I'll tell you where we are. We are right at the corner of Babbitt Road and Shore Center Drive here in Euclid. And we stepped out of the car and parked inside of a parking lot. And I'll just kind of back up just so Sam can show you. It's really not too much snowfall here. I'd say that's about two to three inches of snow that's piled up so far in this Burlington. Um, parking lot here and it's really quiet throughout the east side too this morning not a whole lot of traffic uh, I don't know if people are, are deciding to kind of stay in around this way but we haven't really seen too many people out on the roadways here but again we've got uh, slushy snow over this way it's not coming down thick if anything it's wet it's only 24 degrees here in Euclid so again like Matt keeps saying this is not the snowstorm or top 10 snowstorm that we've seen here in Ohio this is just a typical, regular, healthy uh, snowfall, and that's exactly what we're seeing here on the west side. Nothing too crazy, and we're not mad about it. Back to you. <laughs> no, but more to come on the east side for sure. All right, yeah. Carmen, thank you. And, of course, we'll have continuing team coverage all morning long. You can also head to our website, wkyc.com, for the latest winter weather information.